Hello, hello, this is Tyson Farmer from TysonFarmer.com, and I'm a guitar teacher and professional musician who teaches online video conference lessons to students age 13 and up from absolute square one beginners to advanced level musicians. This video is a quick look at what I have to offer and what to expect from my online lessons. For a look at the pros and cons of online music lessons and why you should even take music lessons in the first place, check out my video, Online versus In-Person Lessons, Pros and Cons. I started playing guitar in 1983, and I've been performing on guitar and singing professionally for over 30 years now. I have been a professional music teacher since 1992, and I stopped teaching in-person lessons and started teaching online exclusively in 2018. Here's a quick rundown of what I can provide in my online music lessons. Although electric and acoustic guitar are my primary instruments, I can play and teach other instruments as well, like ukulele, nice chord tones here with the melody on top, banjo, it's still the same forward reverse roll pattern through the harmonica, bass guitar, one, then to the four chord, one, three, five, four, piano, B flat, D, F, B flat chord. I'm also a professional singer and can teach beginner to advanced singing techniques. The highest note, E, oh, that's an E, your break's right about on E flat. I teach the music genres of pop, rock of all eras and styles, my, my two fingers, popping on down, jazz, that tritone sub as a substitute for the five, metal. So that's why I can only do the alternate picking version instead of the standard jackhammer down country. So that staccato style is going to be very much a part of chicken picking. Classical. Reggae and ska. In the left hand there. So by the time you add the strum pattern, you've got the reggae. Funk. And when it comes to the uh, classic James Brown funk sound. Soul. It just works out to be a standard one, six, two, five progression, kind of just cycling and around. Pretty much any other music style that you can throw at me. I can of course teach you all the square one basics that will get you playing, like open chords. There's going to be the one and two fingers that's optimized for speed and agility. Change, pick holding. Right? That way the pick can literally hinge on your chord changing. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And strumming. Up, up, down, down. Notice the pause in between the first two downs. You got down, pause, down. But I can also teach advanced concepts and techniques like folk finger picking and finger style playing. Pinch, thumb, index, thumb, ring, thumb. Scales. The legato style. <laughs> Scale patterns and sequences. Shines when you're adding sequences. Major scale modes. Dorian mode is a major scale played a whole step under that A minor seven's root. The scale you're actually playing is a G major. Soloing and improvisation. Four and one. So the goal is to land one of those roots or chord tones on the downbeat of one. Bar chords. It's a G chord in E shape because its root here on the E string is the G. Movable chords. We can move this seven shape anywhere we want as long as we mute those. Chords. Power chords. Right, which is neat. Selective the muting. Finger should cleverly touch. Octaves. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you use your pinky. And jazz chords. Commonly used, but you can do this alternate one instead if you're okay with the. Specialized picking methods like tremolo picking. So depending on how fast you're going, it's kind of a combination of fingers and wrist allowing you pitch harmonics. That's a fun one. And yeah. finger tapping. E A. That's no less an A minor. Beginner to advanced music theory. If you flat the third of any chord, 
it automatically becomes a minor chord. Everything else stays. Just D. Just D. You got it. So what note do you add into a C chord to make it a C add to? The D note. Easy. Open and alternate tunings. Since the E note is not in the G triad, we'll have to tune it down to D as well, giving us the open G chord. Note reading in both tablature and standard notation. Third fret on that thickest string there. So that makes this next note what? An E, F, G, A, B note, right? Ear training. Step, very good. All right, next up, half step or whole step. Listen to the distance between the songwriting. Up, we need something different, and that something different is called the bridge. And a nearly endless list of other playing and performing concepts. In my online lessons, I can show my students multiple camera angles of my instruments and hands, including the ability to share my desktop audio and video for practice and teaching purposes. I have an extensive archive of song tablature, standard notation, chord grids, scale diagrams, and music theory reference charts that I use during any lesson, and I can custom create any other song charts or lesson documentation you need during the lesson and email those to you at the end of every lesson, so you don't really need to purchase any lesson materials to prepare for them. In other words, we will continuously create your own customized lesson book together as you progress in the lessons. I'm always adding to a robust suite of YouTube practice videos that you can use on your own to guide you through a wide variety of different practice topics and skill building exercises between lessons to make practicing by yourself easier. If you want, I can even video record any lessons and send you a link to the download at the end of the lesson so you can review it or use it anytime you want for your own personal guided practice sessions. I believe strongly in try before you buy and shopping around for the right service or product. And I am confident about my teaching abilities. So I offer a free 30 minute one-on-one, -on -one, no obligations trial lesson to anyone who asks. Think of it like those samples that they give out at the grocery store deli. You don't have to pay for it at first to find out if you like it and you know where to come back for more in the future if you do. And even if you don't take lessons with me, who knows, you might recommend me to a friend. And in spite of all the options with social media today, I still feel that word of mouth is the best advertisement. So I also give a free lesson to anyone who recommends me to another student who ends up signing up with me for lessons. The reasons for this free demo lesson also go beyond the obvious reasons of me showing off my abilities and expertise. It can also help you to see if online lessons are really for you, to see if we have a personal chemistry and get along well, to see if I speak your language. After all, if you're considering lessons at all, you or your child should at least vibe fairly well with a teacher for best results. And of course, to learn something for free. In the demo lesson, I will treat it like a regular lesson and won't hold back on any info you need to know with a paywall mentality. And at the end of the lesson, I will even send you whatever extra documentation you might need to take what you learned during the lesson even further on your own. So that's a basic overview of what I can offer as an online music teacher. For more in-depth information on my credentials, music history, teaching philosophy, and other frequently asked questions, check out my website at tysonfarmer.com. Also, check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash at Tyson Farmer Music to watch my lesson and concept videos and to get an idea of what my teaching style is like. I'm always adding to my video channel when I can, so check in often to see what's new. If you want to sign up for a free half hour demo lesson with me, or you're ready to sign up for regular lessons, check out my Lesson Face profile at LessonFace.com forward slash instructor forward slash Tyson dash farmer and follow the sign up instructions on my profile page under my about section. I'll provide all the links below this video. This is Tyson Farmer from TysonFarmer.com. Thanks for checking my channel out and stay self-motivated and keep playing.
But when you do this, you know, you don't even necessarily have to come up with good ideas.